Hey everyone, I want to give a big thank you to everyone who subscribed to the new Stand Up On The Spot channel. We just surpassed 10,000 subscribers, so thank you. That's youtube.com slash at standupots if you haven't heard that we moved over there with all the new episodes and clips of the show. Then come see Stand Up On The Spot live at the Comedy Store. We're doing a taping on Tuesday, and then next weekend I'll be in Chicago, Illinois. Then I'm doing my buddy Avery Pearson's concert, Give It Up at the Dynasty Typewriter. We're doing a taping over there for his special, so check that out on February 28th, and then I'll be on the road coming up a lot. Houston, Austin, uh, New York City, Huntington Beach, Las Vegas, Kansas City, and more. Tickets at jeremiahwatkins.com. I think you guys are really going to enjoy this episode with my pal Marcella Arguello. I've known her for over a decade. She's amazing. She's got a new HBO special out on HBO Max. Check it out today. It's called Bitch Grow Up. You guys are going to enjoy this episode. I love you. I'm going to quit rambling. Let's get into this episode with Marcella right here, right now on Jeremiah Wonders. We're in it right here, right now already with my pal Marcella on the pod. Bam, bam, bam. Let's go. We about to get crazy in this moment. Crazy. Crazy. Speaking of crazy, you said you had a meltdown recently. Let's get into it. <laughs> That's how we want to start. All right. Let's get right into it. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I, I brought it up because I, I, I called you to do this podcast. I mean, I hit you up to be like, let me do your podcast, please. Any, anything will help. And then you scheduled me like the good person that you are. And then I canceled the morning of like two hours before maybe. Yeah, yeah, it was something like that. Yeah, yeah. and um, I was like, I'm sick i think i told you i was having like a mental breakdown i knew something was up on the phone when we talked because i said okay well when do you want to do it and there's this beat <laughs> like a lump in your throat that hit that i was like oh something's like happening right like right in this moment <laughs> right. where like marcel was not ready for that follow-up not question at all. To happen. like and i and i remember you, you even texted me after we got off the phone like to kind of follow up which is a completely normal yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. do and i remember looking at that text like he wants to reschedule now but i was like i ended up just like because my obviously my special is now out of, it hadn't been out yet and we had celebrated the night before and i like kind of couldn't handle the celebration like mentally do you think that it was so much um pressure just leading up to this event and it wasn't pressure it was like stress there was so much stress leading up gotcha. to the event and yeah. also stress leading up to the special just being released you know we won't get into the background and all that shit yeah. but like i first of all don't celebrate my like birthday with people like it's something i do with my family only i don't i don't even tell some of my closest friends what my birthday is I, I i have a thing where um i hate anytime i've been to like a restaurant and they're like it's birthday i hate yeah i think what's like as stand-up sometimes we like attention under our control absolutely but when it's like sprung upon us we're like no 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 no, yeah. no. like I, I don't i don't need this right now yeah i don't need it right yeah. now and i um I'm also like notoriously known for like not hugging. I don't really like hugging people. Mm. And, but in that, I remember even thinking like, I already know I'm about to hug everybody at this place. Cause I also right. knew I was about to be like loved on by everybody yeah. that I know. And that would be, and I knew that would be cool. And I kind of have been waiting for it, but I think it was like too much. And like, I was not all there. Like mm -hmm. it's hard to like be in the moment and some of that shit. Sure. And uh, it's also like on the cusp of my first special coming out. And yeah. I, I think I just got really overwhelmed. And I remember even thinking like, I'm not going to drink that much because I mean, I didn't. And uh, I literally spent like, I think three days like that. That was the beginning of just being queasy. I, I haven't been like nauseous. Just the anticipation leading up? All of it. I ended up taking Dramamine to make myself feel better. Oh, wow. And I only take that for like long ass flights. Yeah, for flights or boat rides, but I guess. I or was like, I just, I don't know what I'm feeling. I was feeling all the feelings. And Ida, yeah. who's directed the special, Ida Rodriguez, who's a great comedian. She's amazing. She's amazing. Yeah. She was like, she was calling me every day to kind of check in because she was like, hey, I know. And I remember even calling her probably right before I called you, I think. Yeah. 
because I was like tripping out, crying, losing my mind, spiraling. Yeah. And um, you do a slight panic attack kind of situation. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I do. I do yeah. suffer from panic attacks. I suffer from anxiety. But this was like, uh, I just, I think because it was in the, in the sense of like success, it felt weird. Sure. You know, I'm usually like used to having panic attacks in a, like a logical way. Yeah. This was like, I'm getting too much love. Right. And it was weird. <laughs> Which is so, yeah, as standups, that's like, you know, we're like yearning for that with audiences. Like, is, is this good? You yeah. guys like this? Yeah. But yeah. I think maybe it was too much all at once. Where, it was too much all yeah. at once. And uh, I, I, I just was like, I felt so stupid. I remember being like, oh my God, I felt terrible canceling. But I ended up being honestly what i needed because i was like we, we i went to sleep for like two or some more hours because i was like yeah i was just overwhelmed because also it's, it's a like, lot of emotions too it's up. a lot of emotions a lot because yeah. we uh, as comedians uh we build towards this thing that we have been working on for years and years and it's awesome that you have a lot of people who are coming out to support and stuff like that but a part of you is also like you know, I, I think a lot of comedians, myself, I've had this a lot in different situations where you have that imposter syndrome where you're like, is anybody even going to like this? Is right. everybody going to hate this? Like, like you'd like have all these like manic kind of thoughts yeah. for a second that kind of flood through. Yeah. And, and also I think it was, um, knowing that there were, cause we had some issues with like getting it out on the date that we got it out and it was leading up to, it was just like, damn, the industry is still trying to fuck me hard right, right and here we are and we're celebrating it no matter what which is cool and shout out to ida because she like insisted on throwing this party um because again i'm not like super big on parties i like i wanted mm -hmm. to do it but i also was like if we don't do it i'll be fine like mm -hmm. i will be perfectly okay as a human being but yeah i was like overwhelmed as fuck it was a trip I, I and it's also like i've just never experienced it like that you know sure it's like brand new panic attack i know brand new yeah. panic attack but this just dropped one, this season it's good yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about uh, Marcel's special. It's on HBO that you can check it out right now. It's called Bitch Grow Up. Check it out. Yeah. Uh, I've known Marcella for, I feel like, over a decade at this point. Oh, I mean, how long have you been, been doing stand-up? Uh, I hit 13 years in January. So I probably know, I've known you for 13 years. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure. I started sure seeing I, you like around the mics like, yeah, yeah. right around the same time, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I moved to LA from San Francisco. I think I was like five years into stand-up already. Mm -hmm. Something like that, four or five years. So a lot of the comics that were starting in LA at the time I moved to LA was yeah. cool because we got to watch each other grow. Yeah, of course. Yeah, so that was cool. Yeah, that's awesome. It's been a long time. It's been a minute. Yeah. It's been a minute. It's that's why when, it, whenever you, you reach out to me, I was like, absolutely, whenever. Appreciate that. I appreciate not that. A, not a problem at all. So Thank you. Yeah, glad to have you on the show today. Thank you today. for having me. And I like all the clips that you post. Oh, thank Every you. Every time you post clips, I'm like, yeah. This is comedy. Well, well, uh, we'll get some fun clips out yeah, of this. We'll yeah. get some, some so clips. Fun. I like it. I like when people know how to like, you know what it is, Jeremiah, I've, I've always admired this about you. You've always been silly. Mm -hmm. And so many comics aren't and don't want to be. And they like, you know, they think they're like, oh, I'm going to be the next Mark Marin. It's like, no, you're not. Yeah, I you you just know your lane, you know, stick to it. I and also I don't have a desire to do that. Like exactly. I, I like the, the my the truest version of myself is being silly and stupid and not taking myself too seriously. Yeah, I can't. You know, it works for some comics who uh who have a very cool persona sure. on stage because I'm like, oh, they might actually be cool or they're really good at masking that right, they're cool, but right. I'm not yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that guy. But see, I've always admired that because so many comics are so like, they feel pressure to be Bill or Patrice O'Neill or whatever, like, especially back when we started. Oh my, do you know, do you know the amount of comics, specifically white guy comics that were leaning on the mic stand, like, like doing kind of bad Bill Burr impressions and not even aware that they're doing yeah. it. And same with like CK, like when yeah, he was exactly. like up and like, yeah. Yeah. It's really interesting to see the fads of comedy like influence the open mic scene and even right. like, like even all the comics in and general. Exactly. And that's what's been cool about certain comics like doing their thing from the beginning and saying mm -hmm. like whether or not they had mastered it yet doesn't matter at, at the open mic level nobody's great at what they are right. you know right and um and it, it's 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 always been cool it's been cool to watch you grow hey right back at you i mean your freaking specials on hbo i was so freaking stoked to <laughs> see you. that i'm Thank like you. it's 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 dope it's cool like, it's, i did open mics with her, man. yeah that's back in the day back in the, the comedy day. store days yeah i know yeah crazy. absolutely uh, did you uh, did you uh, watch the Super Bowl this year? Absolutely, I watch what? the Super Bowl every year. Now you are a big fan 
of uh, a lot of female pop artists and stuff. And I, you do some I, great impressions. I do, I do. Yeah, I should. Well. I wish I had a Rihanna impression. I should have one of her. Uh, yeah, move I out mean, the way. Move out the way. That's one of my favorite clips of her. She's yelling <laughs> at the paparazzi with her purse. Move out the way. I heard that she was difficult to work with, and it's like kind of makes sense. She was pregnant. I mean, but I always. People say that about me. So I always wonder, like, what does that mean? Difficult. Like, how difficult? Like, in what right. sense is she difficult? Like, was give she, me an did idea. Did she just not like your ideas that you pitched to her and you found that difficult? Yeah. Or was she actually, like, throwing Coca-Cola in your face? See, when I hear difficult, it my brain jumps to that. Yeah. Where she's slamming PA's heads into things right, right. and stuff like that and closing them up and <laughs> fold up seats in the stadium. <laughs> just because like, if yeah. it's not that. It's not difficult. That's how I feel. I'm yeah. like, oh, you mean you're just like collaborating with somebody and, and they're you're not jiving right away? Right. But Which is normal. Yeah. If you're an actual artist, a creative, and know how to work with people, then that's normal. See, th this is coming from two stand-ups who know what they want yes, in a situation. Exactly. Like, hey, well, I just want to riff and work it out. Yes, exactly. I mean, that's what's... I mean, I my re reputation has suffered from that a little bit. And I, every time... I think about like where the sources. I'm like, she was a fucking bitch, but yeah. she was sweetie pie. So oh. like, she's not. She doesn't get that label. Yeah, that's frustrating yes. for sure. Yes, like, I'm just. I just want to make the best product. That's all I want to do. I, like, I just spoke. We're on the same team here. I just spoke confidently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And didn't like what you had to offer, and yeah. you seem to not want to. You know, whatever. But <laughs> I can collab. Yeah, <laughs> I can okay. collab. Hey, I, I mean, I mean, you want to work together? <laughs> we can. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> 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 it's getting goofy it's the, on the it's podcast. The, it's the remix. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, we getting we getting out here. Yeah, I um uh I love your uh Mariah Carey impression that you do. I have like a dream to do it on Fallon. I don't want to do it on hey. a special. I want to do it on Fallon. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna make that happen. Like, like, a, like a he would love it. Like a musical wheel of impressions thing. I mean, he would love it. I think he would love yeah, it. Yeah, he would love it. <laughs> That's so good. You know how that started with me and Nico Santos in the car back when we were both open micers? Really? Me and Nico would be driving around the car and I would just start doing that <laughs> while we were listening to Mariah Carey. <laughs> and then he would just go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then one day after months, probably maybe a year of doing it, he was like, you need to do that on stage. I was like, how? Yeah. Figured it out. Figured it out. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Excuse me. I no. love that you just did that. Never did that before. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, oopsie, where did that come from? Oh no. Oh, that little gas. Was that me or was that you? That was you. Because <laughs> it wasn't me. I would never do that. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, owie. Oopsie daisy. I got a little scrumptie in my, the corners of my mouth. <laughs> Save it for later. Oh no. Put it in my pocketbook. Owie, it hurts. <laughs> Burps hurt you. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, where did that come from? I don't know. It didn't come from me. <laughs> did you see who did that? Because I didn't. Because it wasn't me. <laughs> Uh, I love people trying to I mean that, that that's like a big part of my family was we we're always trying to be classier than we actually were yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. a lot of a families lot of people, yeah. in general yeah like like my mom would say something like this is like to give you an idea of where we were at like as far as like like you know socially like class wise and stuff if we would do something like a special occasion she's like we're gonna be somebody tonight <laughs> She sat you down. All right, kids. Yeah. Yeah, tonight exactly. is our night. Yes, exactly. Exactly. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Um, do you think um do you think uh Mariah Carey or Beyonce would wanna maybe sing a little something? Ooh, sing? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can sing in a voice. I've never done that. Sing as the, as the as impression? impression. Yeah, I don't Because you I, I love your Beyonce. I mean Beyonce, she, you know, is me, Beyonce. Um <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a blessing to be here, um, for me to be here with y'all, um, with Jeremiah Watkins. Um, you know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> the sounding out of all the syllables is, is great. It's unbelievable. preposterous for me to have anything but fun. Because I'm Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Beyonce. I need to work on it. It's good, though. Okay. Thank it's you. good. But you've never sang as Beyonce. No, because well, she doesn't sing in the way right. that she speaks. Right, you know? right, 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 for sure, for sure. Look at your eye wheelhouse going. I know, I know. I'm thinking. I'm like, I'm like, Beyonce could be like, uh, 
you know, on an R and B track, kind of. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, oh, here we go. Look at it. Let's see. Let's see. It's let's me, see if we can... Beyonce. Look, we go with spoken word, Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. spoken yeah. word, Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, what's up? This is Justin Timberlake. <laughs> And I got my man girl Beyonce with me. It's me. Beyonce. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Ooh, 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Beyonce. If you ever need another J. Wait, here comes Ari. Yeah. Wait, who just came over here? Yeah, it's me, Ari. Yeah. That's my Ariana. I have I have a lot of one word impressions. It's okay, Ari belongs here with us. Ariana Grande and Beyonce on the track. And, and here comes Nikki. Yeah. These are all my girls. These are all my girls. Yeah. All my girls. JT. Because if you haven't listened to Beyonce, girls run the world. It's true. We do. It's true. <laughs> Ooh, hit him be say yeah, 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 yeah. This has been Spoken Word <laughs> with JT and Beyonce. And if you didn't have someone on Valentine's Day to wrap your arms around, just think of us, because we'll be here for you. Yeah. Every single year. That's me. Justin Timberlake, Beyonce, Ariana Grande, and Nicki Minaj. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Ooh, the JT talking is hilarious. Uh, you know, I'm just, um, I'm just out in these streets. <laughs> I mean, not really. I'm, I'm, I'm a taken man. I mean, in the hills. Jessica Biel, uh, my wife. I love her so much. Um, you know, I've been caught a couple times holding hands with co-stars, but it, I swear it was just like me being affectionate. Maybe I drank one drink too much, but it's okay. We forgive you, JT. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. We grew up, uh, I love that boy band era. Yeah, I mean, the pop era was I shit. freaking yeah. love it. Yeah. Were you in sync or Backstreet? Um, I was in sync. My yeah. best friend was was Backstreet. You know, I in the midst of it was Backstreet Boys, and then as I got older and appreciated music more, I was like, oh, I should have been in sync the whole time. Really, I feel like it's the other way around. I feel like in sync was very like cute and everything, and Backstreet was a little more. They 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 tried to be more real. I Backstreet Boys is technically the bigger band. Yes. The way bigger band. Right. They've got more hits and everything, but I think as far you as like are. Oh my goodness. I want <laughs> You just, just do, do one do or all two the... all the one or two word impressions. <laughs> just let me go, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Yeah. I I love that era of music. Britney Spears even back oh my God. in that time. Oh my God, I can the, do Britney. The feud Wait. with Eminem, all that stuff was oh like my God. just so good. Wait, I'm trying to remember Britney. What's my impression of that? I can do Britney yeah. talking. Oh my God, let me try to remember how I did it. <laughs> A little bit of Southern. Oh, do I know the chords of that? Do I know the chords of What is this? Baby, baby, how? Mm, what is it? It's something around here. That's my friend. That's how pretty he is. Baby, baby, how was it? No, it's a slightly off. 
Oh, you just need to get the sound of it. I have a, a, a Britney that goes into Tony. How does it go? Uh, how was I supposed to know that something wasn't right here? Oh, pretty baby, I shouldn't have let you go. Oh, oh, do you think I am? <laughs> Don't you know that he was my man? But I know that let him go. You know what I'm realizing? The more you do your Britney, the more Britney Spears and Lil Wayne have in common. Whoa! They they do this throat uh, thing. Ya uh, mula uh, baby. Uh, we should just do the impression of sounds. That's yeah, it. Yeah, no yeah. words. Wee uh, 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 wee wee. Mr. <laughs> <Mr>. Officer. <laughs> Oh, pretty baby, I shouldn't have let you go. Cause something wasn't right here. <laughs> oh, wow. So dumb. So dumb. But I love it. I love living in the dumb. I love living in the dumb USA. I love living in the United States of dumb America. That's right. That's what we like as people. That's who we are. That's who we are. <sighs> we grow a lot of throat stuff where we come from in the U.S. of A. <sighs> we like that about that. A lot of throat stuff, a lot of tongue stuff. Because yeah. we like things in our mouth, but only if it's hetero. Hetero. We're big on hetero. Hetero. But if it gets a little bit too much tongue action and not in the mouth, then things start to be a little scary for some not of us. Not hetero. <laughs> Not hetero can sometimes be scary for some people. Not hetero. <laughs> that would be great. A bumper sticker that has like a rainbow on it that says not hetero on it. That's merch. Merch. Bobby Lee, get on it. <laughs> he, those would fly like hotcakes yeah. for that gay. Yes, they would. Yep. Yep. The Lees. Gotta love them. Gotta love them. Gotta love the Lees. Gotta love the Lees. So when you moved to LA from San Francisco, yes, you had to do um, very similar to what at the comedy store uh, with the punchline, right? How it's like very much like you have to kind of like hang out there Spend forever, a lot of time. right? Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of a grueling thing that I think is a. It is I think a it's phasing out at some places. But yeah, a little bit. A little bit more, I feel like, than it used to be. I mean, it was grueling because you had that piece of shit that hated women that would um, tell women they had to, like, be filthy animals on stage. You couldn't just do your act. That's a problem. These people, some people will run a, cl a club according to only what they like. Yeah. And comedy is comedy. Comedy is subjective. Like, Super I guess subjective. that it's, like, certain acts aren't for everybody. That's totally normal and expected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But there's something wild to, like, be the talent coordinator and be like, yeah, you should be more, like, whoever their favorite is. Of course. And it's like, but then I'm not myself. Yeah. So that was a problem with the comedy store back in the day. Oh, for sure. Which they, was, they rectified it. Yeah. But I feel like that's yeah. a little tainted. It still has some leftover remnants of taint they're, on there. Yeah, they're trying to. Yeah. I think they're up. doing a good job. I think the oh, comedy yeah, yeah. store has done a, a really oh my, good job in the a, last 10 it's years. It's a 180 compared Completely. to. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I used to hear the wildest things come out of the old talent coordinator's mouth back yes. in the day. Yes. Where I was like, uh, I don't want to be in this conversation. <laughs> and I'm just like, like. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah yeah i mean i eventually like gave up on the comedy store i was like yeah they're never gonna, i'm never gonna get past here they don't like me here he literally said to me like and looked at me like i was gonna agree he's like it's our time now i'm like what the frick does that mean dude <laughs> what does that mean it's our time now. yeah i'm us. like i don't want to be lumped in with this yeah no he ended up never that guy never ended up passing me though uh, yeah, he, never he dangled it. He yeah. dangled no, the carrot. No, me too. He dangled the he carrot. He dangled the carrot to the point where I was like, I had to be like, oh, he's dangling a carrot. Yeah. I need to leave. Like, I, this is an abusive relationship oh, now. Oh, no, no, no. I saw him do it with, with dangle the carrot in front of people with 
you know, you see people where you're like, why, like, why is this being encouraged? And it was be- the freak show element. Absolutely. And I was like, this is sad. This yeah. is literally messing with people's dreams. Exactly. That's when it becomes like dangerous. Like when you're, you're preying on people's dreams, it's like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's weird. You're a dementor of people's yes. energy and stuff yeah. like that. Yes. Harry, are you in the Harry Potter? No. Okay. Did you get the Dementor reference? I mean, I got the gesture. <laughs> the, the, I got the, the, the people who suck the, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the souls and energy out yes, of people. Yes, it's but... Ursula. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Poor unfortunate souls. Poor unfortunate Poor souls. Poor unfortunate souls. All the micros, that's what they are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just trying to make a, make a money. Do you, are you into any uh, nerd culture movies or anything like that? Not really. I'm not really into anything that much. Yeah? I'm really not. I like everything a little bit. <laughs> I'm really not. Put that on the dating profile. <laughs> yeah, not really that into <laughs> that, anything. That's so funny. Um, what are your hobbies? Uh, I don't know. Not a lot. Not a lot. Not a lot of hobbies. What, okay, what's a favorite movie that you've seen in the last like year or so? It can be any movie. Like a new movie? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, that's a good question. So mine, uh, one of my favorite movies that came out recently. Uh, what um the name's escaping me right now. Um, it's um. Oh, it's it's those one of those one word movies. Um, not Savage. Oh my goodness. Who was it star? This is horror film. Um, Saw. I, no, I cannot think of it for the life of me right now. Who's in it? I'm gonna have to do a quick Google. You know, a movie gonna... I really liked what? is um recently was Violent Night. Oh. I really enjoyed it because it reminded me like we were watching a movie from the '90s. Barbarian. Barbarian. Okay. Yeah. Violent that. Night. That makes me so happy when uh, I talk to friends uh, who like that movie because my buddies wrote that movie. Really? So when That's so cool. So when it comes back to me unsolicited, I really know it's a really good movie because I I got that from even before uh, my family. I wanted to. I asked them. I was like, "What did you think of this? You went and saw that? They're like, "We loved it." Blah blah. And I was like, "Oh, I actually I That's know th- cool. I know the guys, and you have met the guys who That's have done cool. it." So. I like to I like to test the waters because they also wrote um, the Sonic movies too. They're killing really? it. They're freaking killing I love, it right now. I, I should say I saw the second one on a plane and I was yeah. like, this is awesome. No, it was funny. It yeah, was funny. it was great. Yeah. And I love Violent Night because it reminded me of the 90s. It was like action, yeah. romance, comedy, like real actors. Because I feel like now I so know. many movies are just filled with people who are just a name. Yeah. You know, and that's getting kind of a bummer. And they're too fucking long because I barely like movies. You give me an hour and a half, you you can get commitment out of me. Okay. But yeah. after that, you're like, okay, let's, let's just, freaking get well, to it. Well, you know, maybe as, a, as an artist, it's like, this can be cut out. This can be cut out. Like, you don't need this shit. Yeah. Sometimes you look, uh, it's too hard uh, when you've been performing for too long where it's hard to take yourself out of the equation and just like not look on as like, uh, this could be edited. This could be, I would have done this differently I mean, if you or have whatever. A two an, or two over two hour movie, it's like, bro, bro, you want a series. Just put a series together. Right. You do not need this much hours for a movie. So you're not a uh, Lord of the Rings fan. Not even a little bit. Never, never watched it. Save the cat, bitch. Shorten that shit. Uh, okay. <laughs> I want the short film version. Yes, of Lord I, of the do. Rings. I do. I don't. I don't. I don't like. I don't really like science fiction, fantasy type shit. That's not my shit at all. What's favorite genre? I, I like rom coms. Oh, okay, I'm a rom com gal. Did you see the um the Billy Eichner movie? Did you see that movie? Bros. I did not see that movie. Yeah. Okay. I should. I want to. There's. It was one of those movies where I think a lot of people wanted it to do well, but it got very mixed. Um, reviews yeah i heard this i heard the same thing that's probably why i didn't watch it it's hard for i think it's hard these days that's why it's impressive like violent night when it's when people like it it's hard for a comedy to get in movie theaters anymore i know and i'm like why we're just we're getting closer to that being in the realm of maybe even remote possibility why now yeah our comedy yeah. is harder to get in the yes. box office and that's what's frustrating too i mean the, you know and and um I, I always talk about it with people about how like um i hate that the oscars overlook comedy as a genre because like comedy is the hardest shit tom hanks has said comedy yeah. is the hardest thing to do it is we have we, do, you, do you think that someday that, that the oscars will should. nominate comedies they should it'd be cool I There's mean, so many comedies that deserve oh my from, from the past. Yeah. I mean, I always think about how Wedding Crashers was the first rated R comedy that did well in theaters. Yeah. And then after that, a few years later, it wasn't like super bad, like huge and knocked up. Like those movies yep. started like, yep. like hitting. But Wedding Crashers was the beginning. Interesting. They were the first R 
comedy wow. in a theater and it did well like they they did not expect it to do that well and, and i remember it was a fucking great movie that's funny and and remember leading up to it, it was like old school they were like starting to like build this like yeah. brand of like just filthy ass sure crazy over the top comedies and they were great and now it's like i don't know the, the magic is lost i don't know have People, you seen have you seen deadpool have you seen that movie no but i do hear it's I funny i think that you would like that I, I actually agree just because if you like violent night and you like comedies in general and, and the, just the comedies you just listed that's a good in between of like not too crazy nerdy comic book sure but it's still action and kind of fun yeah it's, it is on my list that's one of those movies that yeah. um i think deadpool 2 was on last night on the tv and i was like man i really need to watch this yeah first it's a yeah. fun one it's i need to watch one. them i agree yeah yeah i i i'm a huge i love all that stuff though and i don't know why i don't even know how this happened like my son got into spider-man so quickly of course but it's cra- he's like not even two yet, and yeah. he's like Spider Man, Spider Man. Yeah, Spider Man's great. Can't even pronounce Spider Man, but he he's like Spider Man. Loves it. Yeah, loves it. I love it. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is he, was he Spider Man for Halloween? No, for Halloween he was um, he was a Targaryen. What? What's that? From, from Game of Thrones. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's a, that feels like a forced parent onto child costume. Uh, well it. Yes and no, because okay. he has, he literally has like golden blonde hair. Okay. And he looks like a kid from Game of Thrones. Oh, oh okay. Like he literally Which looks, I don't so know what that means, but all right. It's just like a very white blonde kid. Okay. That's like the, and the Targaryens uh, are, they're a very white blonde family. Mm, so mm. my wife uh, was a peasant. Uh, I was a dragon and he was this little king. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it was a parent forced onto the child costume. I like how you say like, no, kind of. I mean, he, I mean, he wasn't. Hundred percent was. He what? He doesn't watch Game of Thrones. He's I mean, not I gonna hope pick not, it out. Jeremiah. I know what kind of parent would I be? <laughs> that's, his, that's his nursery rhyme before oh, bed, just putting on Game of Thrones. Yeah, I. Uh, that would be a little bit too intense. No, he gets scared sometimes, even with. Uh, uh, certain cartoons even if scooby-doo or something if it, it's a it's a dimly it's lit room yeah it's spooky i hate it enough. i didn't i didn't enjoy i still don't enjoy scary stuff no i don't watch that shit mm. i didn't watch it. i remember when are you afraid of the dark would come on like it would start oh, yeah. i'd go eh, well it's time for bed now <laughs> and all my siblings would make fun of They're me like, what all my siblings would make fun of me and i'd be like i don't care goosebumps i did not get into it too scary yeah did you ever watch a show called eerie indiana did no, you ever but hear my about that show? Siblings did. Yes. It's so hit or miss with with people that I ask if they remember that show, and I'm glad that you're siblings. My my, you know my, my well, because my mom likes all that spooky shit. Nosferatu is her favorite movie. She really? likes every any zombie movie. Your mom and I would get along. Yeah. I freaking my mom and I watch all horror movies. We watch all the Saw movies, like any torture, like crazy. Yeah, that's movies. my mom. She loves yeah. that shit. She yeah. loves that shit. Yeah, it's wild. I, yeah. I'm like. Ah! I mean, I don't know why I like it really because you're fucked up, Jeremiah. It gives me bad dreams sometimes and stuff. That's too. why I don't watch it. My, I get severely bad dreams. Do you believe in ghosts or paranormal like activity or spirits? I don't want to say like that? I believe in something if I don't know it exists. So I like if it exists, it exists. I mean, I'm, right. I'm not like a. It doesn't do you, exist. Do you? Well, okay. Do you think it's in the realm of possibility, or have you? Ever, oh yeah. Do, or do you think um, have you have you ever felt anything or seen anything? Or no. Do you have any family that has claimed to see anything? Mm, I don't. Th- I do actually have family that has claimed to see. I do not want to talk about that because that's oh. a little strange. Um, oh, I want to know. No, so no. Bad. I can't get into that. It's, I that's, love. That's I too, love. You know, you ghost know stories and paranormal. You know talk. why? Because um, it's when people take shit like that like too serious. Mm. I'm like, oh, are you like you have unresolved parent issues and uh, you know what I mean? Like you're you're focusing your energy on the wrong shit. Gotcha. You know, it's a little too obsessive. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. (laughs) Peaked my interest though. It really did. Watch bitch grow up to get your answers. (laughs) It's in the special, the story (laughs) of how my cousin got possessed. (laughs) (laughs) How my cousin got raped by a ghost. (laughs) Whoa. What happened? HBO Max. Bitch grow up. Watch it now. (laughs) (laughs) Love it. Gotta love that Cardi. 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 (sighs) Yeah. I am big fan of horror movies for sure. For sure. Do you have a, a, a memory of ever being super freaked out 
uh, in a situation where it gave you that sensation of like watching a scary movie or anything like that in real life like like a situation like we're like oh, oh. i need to make a decision right now because something might go down or something oh you know what i don't think so but yeah. that's a good question if i thought if i had to think about that more i might but i can't off the top yeah. of my head i can't think of anything like that yeah like, do you i well i've i mean i have i've shared on the podcast a little bit um i've had a couple what i think are ghost-like encounters okay. perhaps um I'll tell it briefly because I, I just told on a, on this podcast or, or on Scissor Bros recently. But I had this instance where I was uh, in Cincinnati doing a weekend of shows. Okay. And I'm very familiar with how, as, as we are as comics, of what air conditioning and heaters sound like when they're kicking on or different noises around sure, a hotel. Sure. Just normal stuff that I that have heard. That is to be heard, expected. Yeah. Is to be expected. Yeah. Um... Oh God, I go. opened the door to my hotel room and I literally heard whoa and I was in a rush and I'm like I guess I'm staying in this freaking haunted room <laughs> that's my favorite so I stayed in this room yeah, where I could not I, I was like I already have all my bags up here so did you hear it again? no it was oh. just when I opened the door so it could have been the door it wasn't the door. It was not the door. I also felt uh, uh, like a, a chill. A little tongue up your neck. <laughs> a little ghost tongue. You feel, you feel a tongue in your butt when that happened? Like, what? Yeah, crazy haunting. I don't know. This ghost was a freak. <laughs> yeah. No, I felt like a weird sensation that happened um, where it was not any sound that was like a door or anything like that in the hotel. That's why I preface it with that. I, I'm very well aware of the noises. That was something sure, that happened sure. recently. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, I think that like humans, I think ghosts are scared of me. Mm. Well, a lot of people say that they're more scared of us than we are. Of I'm not scared of a ghost. No? You mm -hmm. fight a ghost? I'll fight a ghost right now. Yeah? What would you say to a ghost that like, I want to say shit. You? They can't hear me. It's just my fucking fist will do the talking. You punch a ghost in the face? Hell yeah. Really? Oh, what if it. it went through them? Oh, I'll what do it if, again. <laughs> what, bye bye, what if get it with a double combo. Okay, but what if your fist goes through the ghost, but then they pick no you way. up? No, no, they pick you up. Ooh. I'll be like, ooh, what are we doing now? <laughs> where are we going? Just where are you turn taking it around. Me? Oh, where are we going? Ooh, oh, I love the theatrics. This is the lightest I've ever felt. I'd be felt. so condescending. This is nice. Ghost tried to do yeah. something. Ooh, where are we going? <laughs> what can you do with those little wrists? you know yeah well i wouldn't want to haunt you then don't haunt me that's why i've never been haunted that's hey, why I go marcella i promise you i'll never haunt you i huh. will never haunt you that's weird yeah i don't like how you said that marcella i will never haunt you whoa and that's a promise and i'm being genuine right now i'll never haunt you okay what? not even if i die a couple years from now, I will never haunt you, Marcella Arguello. I wish I knew your middle name. I, was say, I wish you had made one up. Mar yeah, Marcella. I always, whenever Cynthia Arguello. I always say Marie in the middle when I don't know what someone's middle name that is. That is my sister's name. I mean, but what's funny is it's funnier when you do it to a guy. Jeremiah Marie Watkins. Jeremiah Marie Watkins. I wish you would have done it. I'll let you better do my middle name. If I knew, if I only knew. You should have said Marie. Always go with Marie. Always go with Marie. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yeah. It's ethnically ambiguous. Marie. There's a lot of Maries everywhere. Could you guess my middle name? What would, what would you guess it is? Thomas. No, but that's not Jefferson. a bad guess. Jeremiah Jefferson. <laughs> the whitest man I've ever known. Jeremiah Jefferson Watkins is actually a pretty black name. <laughs> that's a very black name. It's the opposite of white at that point. Jeremiah <laughs> Jefferson Watkins is coming in hot. He might be a wide receiver. He might be a tight end. We don't really know. He might even be a running back for all we Did know. Did you see that clip of Shirley Ralph 
like fucking up names thinking that they're black people no she was like you know like orlando bloom that sounds like a quarterback or so she says something like that <laughs> just like the whitest oh people possible oh my god that shit cracked me she, so mm-hmm. there's a clip i think she was on like i don't know if it was a sherry shepherd show or i don't know what the fuck show she was on yeah Maybe Kelly clarkson one of those little daytime talk shows yeah, of course she just exactly what you just did except she was being sincere yeah 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 wow it was there wild i mean wild jeremiah jefferson jeremiah jefferson moving on up watkins that's that's me that's what they call me out in these streets todd no but kevin. that's you know what todd and kevin are really good white guest names what are your They're, what's your middle name it's pretty it's it's a slightly more country jeremiah dean watkins. oh jeremiah dean watkins yeah, yeah. jeremiah dean watkins yeah. jeremiah dean watkins get in here what is it jeremiah I am sick of your shit. Oh, now what did Every I? Every day, it's Ellie the May. same thing. Ellie Mae, what did and I do this time? It's the same thing over and over and, again. And what is oh it, Oh, my Ellie? God. I cannot believe you, Jeremiah D. Watkins. What did I do this time, Just Ellie? never gets to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm out. Si- seriously, Ellie, what did it? You keep... Oh, my God. I can't believe it, Lord Jesus. Help me. Ellie, I'm trying I to cannot, reason with you here. He did it again. He did it. He oops. He did it again. He said he wasn't gonna do it again. I'm here, trying Jeremiah, to reason he with you his, and I swear find to my out mammy. what I did. <laughs> um, this next segment you're gonna love. It's called wig. Oh. And we're gonna put on some wigs <laughs> and see what happens. <laughs> I feel like we look like founding fathers yes. right now. <laughs> I don't, I don't know what's go- <laughs> what is it supposed to be. I don't have a. What was it supposed to be? Oh, it can be whatever we want. But I mean, what was it like? You know how the wigs have names? Oh. Joseph. Oh, what was the that? Jeremiah one? Dean. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the Jeremiah Dean special. Um, I don't know. I forget when I got that. You know, wig. What, you know what I mean, though. No, no. And there's then he always like a, what it is. Yeah, the Reverend. The yeah, you know, whatever it is. Uh, I think that this one was a politician wig. I okay, think yeah. that's it, what that this one sense. was. Yeah. And then I think I may. I can't remember. The raccoon. What. <laughs> no. The raccoon wig. Okay. Uh, so let's try to figure out who these people are okay. to each other. Okay. They're obviously older. Gonna, I gotta look at it. Most oh, likely, can't. they're older men. Is most likely what's going on here. I don't know. This could be like a younger, stressed out guy right here. I mean, could be. Got a good hairline. You know, like somebody that um uh, over dyed their hair, right? And it fell out because right. they did it themselves. Yeah, they went a little cheap. And they're, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I did a bad. My mom did a bad bleach job on me in like seventh grade, yeah. where around that boy band period yeah yeah of course it, frosted tips you had some frosted she tips? tried to give me the frosted tips those things were freaking orange yeah i mean yes not not the good golden kind of frosted tips yep. these things were cheeto orange yes yes yeah yes yeah the rough rum, year for the, my yearbook picture I'll the tell you ramen that much. noodle express pick i mean that's what we were all going for i um i yeah i've, I've bleached out my own hair and have you out. did yeah, it work absolutely. out i mean it looked cute for six months but then it was oh my god i it fell out and i just cut it to the to the to the dome and dyed it red and <gasps> i look great it was cool it was a cool look right okay who are these guys to okay, each other who are these guys i think that they are this um, guy looks like a scam artist with he looks some unemployed okay yeah okay maybe they're a couple of pyramid schemers yes right? yeah cuz you are like the the pro you're, you're you've I'm been doing top it. of the line yeah, that, you've... that guy yeah you've been doing it for a while and i'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to... You're eager, aren't you? Very eager. Okay. Now, for years, uh, we can all agree that, you know, on road trips, men have been able to pee in bottles, right? And uh, we little, feel like there's a market... I got a little drug issue. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We feel like yeah. there's a, a market... We've got it. ...to uh, do something like that with women. Women, okay? absolutely. Because we where are they going to pee on these where? road trips? Where? They're not going to be here. They're not going to be in the bottle. They're not going to be in the bottle. Right. They're not going to be here. They're not going to be in the bottle. So we need to come up with some kind of plan of attack for the next time we pitch to these higher ups, yeah. these execs, yeah. Yeah. these CEOs yes. to get behind something. Yes. Now, Johnson, do you have any ideas? No, I have none, but I can come up with some. You give me a few minutes. A plastic, a rubber, 
We can get a a a a, a, a jug. Uh, you can get a uh a, a, a um handlebar. No, a um you can uh we can. Ooh, there's a lot. Uh, Johnson, there's a lot. Are you on something? No, right no, now? no, 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 no. I let that lifestyle go. I let that lifestyle go. I, you know, I'm just excited. I'm just excited. I'm just excited. Johnson. Uh... Let's hold this pitch for just a second. Let's put a pin in that. Is uh oh a pin? Is everything a pin? Uh, yeah, a pin. Just, just you a, could use a pin. It's, it's, a retract. It's, it's just one moment. Let's hold off on the pitch, okay? okay. I, uh, okay. What's is everything okay at home? Yeah, okay. easy peasy lemon squeezy. Mm. Lifestyles of the rich and famous. Mm. <laughs> okay. How are you? I'm. I'm good. I just wanted to make sure that your well-being was good and that Charlene was doing it at home. You know, she's, you know, she's great. She's great. Three months off of work. She's great. From being pregnant she's great. recently. It's a, it's... So I know that you're an expecting new father. I mean, I'm expecting good, good times. Listen, let's talk from one dad to one dad who's about to be a dad. Okay. Uh-huh, I uh-huh. mean, this is your first one. Are you nervous about this first child? No. Mm-mm. Not nervous at all. Not even a little. Not even a little. Pumped. What's something Ready. that you're looking forward to uh, being a new father? Oh. Looking forward to being a father. Um. Okay. Uh, what's um, what's something that uh, you plan on doing for your wife when the baby's born? Oh, uh, for my wife? Yeah, she's like. What do you mean? She's gonna need you after she gives birth to your child. No, but the the, the, the child is the the child. The child is the is the what? You, the I I'm gonna do everything for the child. Um. Okay. Now, are you are you happy about having this? Yeah. Baby? Yes. 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 Come on. Yes. Do, yeah. do you have any names picked out? Uh, names? Is that what you said? Yeah. You said these names. Are, yeah. What do you have any names picked out for your child? Uh, I hadn't thought about it. Okay. Uh, well, what are you gonna do to provide for this child? The, once? Whatever the idea, the what we were talking about. Um. Okay. And um. Your your wife, um, it is your wife, correct? Uh, 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 do you do, were you planning on this? Uh, 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 it, you're planning on having this baby? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yes, is, yes, yes. Johnson, I'm just trying to ask you, one man to another man, a father to another, expecting what? father. Ask me what? Ask me anything. I'm open. I'm an open book. I'm an open book. Ask me anything. Do you want to be a dad? Yes. Yes. Because just when I ask you, your face just went a little. I, it lights up. All it over lights the place. Up. What are you excited? It lights up. What I'm are you, excited. What are you excited about specifically about not, being there, a dad? What is there not to be excited about? Um, yeah, I'm so excited. Okay. What's one of the first things you're going to do as a new dad? <sighs> Smoke a cigar. Uh, let's fast I forward. It. I already have it. Let's fast forward a little bit. I meant for more like for your family or. What? What do you mean? You know, like when you take the child home from the hospital, what's one of the first things I'm you're going to do? You're going to smoke a cigar once you take the child home from the hospital yes. with your wife. Okay. Yeah. Now, are you still good for uh, for bowling on Saturday? Absolutely. Okay, I'll see you there. Yeah, great. <laughs> Wig. It turned into what I liked about it. It turned into the guy who definitely did not want to have a kid. <laughs> Your responses were literally like I've I've literally seen this so many times before. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're friends with all those comics. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. So I've literally seen like the guy. You can tell the difference between a guy who wants to have a kid versus no, no, no. It's gonna be the best, best thing ever. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, a miracle of life. Miracle. <laughs> That's like, what I was channeling. Yeah, I mean, no, no. You were you were channeling oh, yeah. every scared comic who's having a baby.
<laughs> like, no, no, no. It's gonna, it's gonna be really good. Yeah, yeah. For my wife? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to close out with this uh, last segment um, that is a listener and viewer favorite. It's called okay. Sax Talk. Oh, Sax Talk. Marcella yes. is going to share a story of a sexual encounter while I play some sweet, sweet saxophone along with it. Now it can be innocent, it can be graphic, whatever she's comfortable with. And she's got a story for us that she's going to tell right now. And I'm going to follow along with this sweet, sweet sax. Whenever you're ready. Thank you, Jeremiah Dean Watkins. Wait, what is your middle name? Josephine Marcella Josephine Arguello. Okay. Marcella Josefina Arguello. Oh. That's a good name. That is a strong name. It's a very good Especially name. Especially caked up with the accent. Yeah. Marcella Josefina Arguello. Marcella Josefina Arguello. <laughs> My son was doing this thing the other day. Uh, like we take him to daycare uh, when my wife goes to work and I'm working during the day. And uh, his uh, daycare teacher is named Maria. And I swear, like he was crying when I picked him up because he Maria. didn't want to leave. And he kept going, Maria. Maria. I was like, dude, I got to take you home. He's like, Maria. It's like raising Aww. a little Spanish soap opera I kid. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Okay, thank you. So many years ago, I was in love, uh, or so I thought, but I was in love with a man um, who happened to be a comedian. Um, Don't recommend it. I don't recommend falling in love with a comedian. Um, And this gentleman, you know, and I feel bad for him in the sense that um, my dad got sick and he, you know, had cancer. And so, man, this dude, this dude was like kind of my little outlet and um, really helped, uh, you know, get some of the tension out of my body. And so, (laughs) so this guy was a really good comedian too. And he, um, So one of the nights we were hooking up and I was stressing. I go to his place and um, now this is one of those guys that a little inconsiderate. He would make me wait outside of his building for a very long time. And I stuck with it because uh, I was lonely. Yes, I was sad. I was grieving my father. I just say I didn't realize I was grieving my father, but I was. And I'm with this guy. We're hook- we start to hook up. And we've been doing this for a while. S- same old shit. He has no theatrics to him. Never says anything spicy. Pretty basic. Older, old-fashioned kind of guy. So we're... In the throes of it. Really getting into it. Very sexy. Really hot. I'm so excited. And then he goes, Who's your daddy? Something he's never said to me. And I don't want to hear it in that moment. My dad is dying. <laughs> and this man asked me, who's your daddy? And uh, that was the end of that sex session. Don't date comedians. How was that? That was perfect. <laughs> because I... 
you could just imagine the cringe. <laughs> just also, he's dating you. Yeah. He's aware. Yes. Of what's going yeah. on in your yeah. life. Yeah, man. And he's never like, why is he doing open mic night <laughs> in the bedroom? That makes no sense all at bad. all. He's like, you know what? I'm going to try this Something one tonight. new. Something new. And you're like, stick to the stuff you know that works, buddy. <laughs> something new, something personal. Yeah. Yeah, it was wild. That's one of the worst judgment calls I've heard in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe ever in yeah. one of these sax talk stories. Yes. Yeah. I mean, that's got to be instantly like, oh, oh, I'm, I can't even, okay. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it just was, right away. Yes, it was very weird. That's so bizarre. Yeah, it was weird. Did you ever talk with him about it after like, why did you think that no, that was I a mean, good... Obviously, he he was not a good, you know, yeah, he wasn't not, a good person. Oh, right, right, right. And, um, and that was, I, I don't even want to say that was the beginning of the end because... I was so fucked up that like it took me a minute to even like register how fucked up that was. Like that's how fucked up I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's that when he said that I was like, mm-hmm. and then we stopped, and then it was like, I don't, I don't even know anymore. I don't know, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to think. And this yeah. is like back when I wasn't like. Sh- now I like overshare with all my friends, but that was back when I wasn't oversharing with all my friends. Right. I don't. I don't even know if I even shared that story with some of my friends. Wow. This is like a big, big moment here we're having here. Very cathartic. Well, you know. Sometimes saxophone helps alleviate the pain yeah. a little bit. Yeah. Filling what, in the gaps. Yeah. It's also one of those stories that's like, this isn't funny. So I can't really like do it on, on as a joke on, you know what I mean? Like it's not, I, like maybe it is funny, but. I think, I think it is. Okay. It's super dark, but I think that that's sometimes where the gold is at. Mm. I think it's one of those jokes that, I mean, that's the big reveal, the big. Yeah. The payoff daddy, is yeah. just like what yeah it's so bizarre it's so bizarre because if you set up if you were to do it as a joke on stage and you're setting up that you're you know going through this grieving process yeah. and stuff like that i mean it all just comes back down to like how bad men are at dating sometimes <laughs> how and men like are not peri- thinking about, men are about period. how bad men are period and that's the end of the show <laughs> that's, that's how we're gonna end it men are bad um <laughs> but no that's a wild story isn't it that's, it's like such a short story, but it's so wild. Well, it's so powerful that it leaves you with like I left literally left me with so much Im- imagery like of like like the guy like what is going on in his set like as soon as he says it is he like oh man I shouldn't have said that or is he just oblivious and like this that- is the right thing to say I've seen enough <laughs> stuff online and stuff like that where she'll be cool with it. It was so wild. Like, I don't know. I don't know what what his mindset was. He was very weird. Yeah. Bizarre. Very weird. Very well, bizarre. anyway, uh, thank you for sharing this story. Thank you for wigging out with me. Thank you for uh, bringing your friends Mariah Carey, <laughs> Beyonce. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ari, yeah. Ariana Grande. Oh, oh, I didn't bring Prince. <laughs> That's my Prince. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 You got okay. Prince too. Okay. All right, I like it. Uh, love you, pal. Thank you so much Thank for doing you, the Jeremiah. show. Thank you, Jeremiah. I love you too. Thanks for and, having me. Uh, guys, please, if you have HBO, go over HBO watch Max. HBO Max. Is, H- is it's there a difference? It's on HBO, but it's I mean it's available on HBO Max whenever you want to watch it. Oh, okay. There is a oh. huge difference. Oh, HBO Max is the digital version. Yes. HBO Max. I have HBO Max. I'm gonna watch a special. Check it out. Uh, also, our pal um, Otsko's special is on HBO. Yeah, too. yeah, exactly. HBO yeah, Max, Otsko, yes. Um, yeah, hers so, both HBO and HBO Max. HBO yes. Max. Uh, so check it out, guys. HBO Max. Um, if you don't have HBO, get a free subscription. Yeah. You can easily do that where it's like a, a 30 seven day days. test. It's usually seven, seven day, day trial. Yeah, cool. they're cheap. Yeah. So just get the test. You're going to love it. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah. <laughs>